All right, guys, we're back with flat vibrating collar. So that's what I'm doing. And if you said, you know, if you just presented me with something that was a leash that you push the button, you would have to control the vibration, though. But that's how I'm going to control them, not, fit, not with physicality. Bump, heel. So I'm not, hey, he's not very good. That one's not a very good cleanup guy. That's my, uh, what I tell some of the Europeans. Is this American woman? She drops the treats too much. All right, so I'm just synced up. I can go whatever way. He's looking for precursors. Heel. adjusted himself kind of in midair. Alright, I've got him or he'll scoot back a little. No, oh, he can do better than that. Alright, watch. Now I'm going to hit the knob. Yay! And I do one step. And I'm just heel. Pager is starting. Heel. Pager's starting when my foot goes forward right there. You know, but I'm not heel. I'm not affecting the leash at all. Alright, hit me up. But I'm, I'm drawing a line with that turn. Can rudder him with the leash. I'm sure he does believe it has something to do with the leash. Yeah. Yay. That's how I form a force field around me. That's how I clear the dogs away from me now, Summer. Yeah, yeah. All right, so look, dog in training. Holding it down. Yeah. Uh, no. He's got his feet right on the edge. All right, watch. Heel. He's not quite as good as Maverick, but anyway, you guys get the idea. You, If you're a trainer and you want to start out using one of these colors, just do it like this. Again, if you said you're doing anything but using a flat vibrating collar, I would say, no, I'm not. And so can you. You can do it too. And you're not going to hurt the dog. It's not going to freak him out. And there is a specific way to introduce it, but... You know, I'm sure, I don't know how. We'll study how they teach little children. This is a cell phone. They all seem to be able to figure it out. <laughs> and if dogs are smarter than kids, well, there you go. Bye, guys. <laughs>